Hello everyone, welcome to Storytime Online. This week we are going to share some fun stories about this favorite critter, a caterpillar. And this story is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar and it's written and illustrated by Eric Carle. This is a story I think probably many of you have at home. The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little leg lay on a leaf. Do you see it? It's so tiny. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. Do you see some food on those pages? Something he could eat? Oh, on Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, a piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. And that night, he had a stomach ache. Oh. The next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself, and he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. There he is beautiful butterfly. Nice job. The very hungry caterpillar. Well, I hope you brought a caterpillar. I'm going to need you to show me your caterpillar. Make him crawl. Or maybe use your other finger and go the other way. This song is about a fuzzy caterpillar, and he is very slow, and he's very quiet. So at one point in the song, we're all going to have to go, shh, can you do that with me? Shh, okay, are you ready? Get your caterpillar out. Fuzzy little caterpillar crawling on the ground. Fuzzy little caterpillar never makes a sound. Shh. Soon you will be sleeping as the stars go by. And when you awaken, you will be a butterfly. Oh, very nice. Can you make your own butterfly? Our next story is called Ten Little Caterpillars by Bill Martin Jr. and illustrated by Lois Ellert. Little Caterpillars by Bill Martin Jr., illustrated by Lois Ellert, and published by Beach Lane Books. The first little caterpillar crawled into a bower. Can you find it? The second little caterpillar wiggled up a flower. Do you see her? The third little caterpillar climbed a cabbage head. Oh. 
Ooh, there's another friend in this picture. Do you see somebody else who's not a caterpillar? We have a beetle and a toad. The fourth little caterpillar found a melon bed. The fifth little caterpillar sailed a garden pool. And the sixth little caterpillar was carried off to school. It's going for a ride in a jar. The seventh little caterpillar met a hungry wren. The eighth little caterpillar was frightened by a hen. The ninth little caterpillar oh, fell into the sea. Oh no. The tenth little caterpillar scaled an apple tree. And hung there patiently. Until by and by, the tenth little caterpillar became a butterfly. So we saw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 different kinds of caterpillars. Thank you for joining me for stories this week. I will be online again next week, Tuesday morning. See you then.